Nijisani wanted to hide this. They privated the stream and we need everyone to see this. So spread it as much as you can. Thank you. Komu Rainpuff was denied by Neji Sanji for something very important that she really wanted to do. This is what we're getting into today. Hello, this is the Mad Salvi. Coming to you with some VTuber news right now. Kind of was thinking of whether to do it or not, but I have too much to say about this. So let's get started. First, we're going to watch what Pomu actually had to say. Mm, how do I put it? There was a really big opportunity that was... That was given to me. Or rather, I don't know, asked of me? And offered to me? Offered to me. <laughs> offered to me. And, uh... <laughs> and I get why it wasn't accepted, but it's really frustrating. But... <laughs> things weren't negotiated or anything. It was just... <laughs> flat out no. I'm just really frustrated about it. Because <laughs> I felt like maybe it was... <laughs> maybe a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity or something. I don't know. I was really excited about it. <laughs> but I felt like maybe things were... <laughs> turning around or something. I don't know. And then... <laughs> this is really frustrating. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> What's been on my mind a lot. I've just been thinking about it. <laughs> this is what frustrates me. It really does. She continues going on, and we're going to watch the rest of this, of course, but I need to go in through this, and this is really frustrating. If Niji EN management was better, if they were better at making sure their talents didn't feel frustrated, didn't feel disillusioned, didn't feel like good opportunities, like whatever this one was, disappears, then there wouldn't be graduations like there are. Now let's continue watching what she says. No, I can't say what it is, sorry. <laughs> Some things are just... have to keep... <laughs> behind... behind the curtain. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to really think. You see right here, she really feels defeated. You can hear it in her voice. Besides the fact that she's crying. You shouldn't, as a company, in my opinion, as a company, as management, as someone whose sole job is to make sure that your talents feel at the very least appreciated, at the very least happy enough to continue making you money, let's just go on the whole business aspect of the thing. You have to make sure the people, the talent under you, still feel appreciated enough, still feel happy enough that they're going to happily keep doing the content creation that is your livelihood. This is what makes you money. Why are you making them feel unappreciated or like you, you as a management, let this opportunity go to waste, let an opportunity get away when they felt they were you know, qualified for it, and obviously, obviously they didn't give her a good explanation because she wouldn't be doing this, she wouldn't be saying this on a members-only stream. By the way, this was a members-only stream that she unprivated once she graduated because she wanted everybody to see everything she's ever done. She didn't want any paywalls to be out there. She was doing this for her Pomodachi. She was doing this for her fans, for everyone who enjoys her content, and anyone who's new to be like, here's my whole catalog, watch it. She was that nice, but still, you made her feel this disillusioned that it could very well have been one of the deciding factors of, am I going to renew my contract in January, which is around the time that contracts are renewed in Japan? Am I going to renew my contract? Or am I just going to decide, you know what, I'm going to just cut my losses and go and do something else? Whatever else she does, I know she's going to be super successful at, but let's finish up the, the, the video before we're done. Right now. <laughs> Thanks for the virtual hug. <laughs> I mean, maybe it wasn't gonna be good. I don't know, but there's always like what ifs, you know? Like if I don't know if I don't try, which is when it's frustrating because I'm typically a person that likes to at least try. As everyone does, everyone in a position does. <laughs> opportunities will come I don't think so <laughs> I think this is at the point just that 
is like prophetic words right there. Those are, I might, I'm probably re- I can probably guarantee you I'm reading too much into this and correct me if I'm wrong down below. If you think I'm reading way too far into this and it had nothing to do with her future graduation. But even if it was two, three months before that this came out, the fact is she already had it in her brain. These guys aren't going to do what I need to grow. They aren't looking out for me. Maybe those doubts were starting to be planted in their brain. And maybe at that point, she wasn't like, oh, I'm going to graduate. But once the new uh, contract negotiations for the new contract that starts around Ju- January, if I'm, mis- if I'm not mistaken, again, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm not mistaken, it, you know, in, J- in January in Japan, this is generally when they do it. And she probably thought, you know what, there's too many negatives for me to continue. I just want to see what else is new and what else is going to happen. Not... Maybe not here, unfortunately. Yeah, that that cements it. That freaking cements it. That's when she decided, I'm out. This is when she was just like, I'm going to continue being a great content creator because she was a great content creator to the very end for my Pomodachi, for the people who follow me, for the people who are members and the people who watch me day in and day out. I am going to entertain them. But she, at this point, she was no longer loyal to the company, I don't think. At this point, she was just like, I'm done. She just seemed very defeated right there. But it is what it is, I suppose. (laughs) Maybe I would have hated it. (laughs) And that's the point for me that gets me. She herself felt that there was a, a good reason for... And this is what she wrote afterwards, you know, the the notice of the announcement of of graduation. But she, it feels like at this point, she was like doubting herself because of management. Because management obviously didn't let her know why they stopped it. They didn't let her know what happened, what it was that prevented that huge opportunity from what she's saying. It was like a once in a lifetime thing. And for someone who is has been there as long as as Pomo had. She was the first. Uh, she was part of the first wave of Niji Sanji En. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong again. Uh, she was very dedicated. She was all about the Niji Sanji family. She was all about yes, let's all be a good family. It's all love Niji Sanji. All this Niji Sanji love. Don't talk negative about Niji Sanji. Don't talk negative about my company. All this kind of stuff. She was one of those people that was rooting for her company because she of course wanted it to be positive, wanted positivity throughout her whole thing to the very end, even during her nine hour graduation stream. But she played with, with her, uh, I believe it's Illyra and I believe it, uh, I forget the other name that the people who were part of her, uh, her specific batch of people that came in her, you know, her group that she came in with. And other people that she wanted to, you know, do some collabs with. She was there with them. And even at the very end, she was very, very good. She was doing an amazing job, as she always does. It breaks my heart that bad companies exist. Bad management exists. A management that is all out for just... It seems to me, this is just my opinion here... Niji Sanji's been all about the money for everything and their livers have suffered. Their livers have had things canceled. I mean, not even Selen Tatsuki. We have other people who complain about canceled. There, there was a Niji Sanji concert that was canceled, like I think last year as well. A lot of things were canceled. EN management is just horrible right now, just based on the way that the talent seems to be feeling. They need to step up. That is their sole job is to manage this talent and make sure it flourishes. Why? Let's just say it's not for the whole human aspect. It's It can be just, let's say, to make you more money. Happy talents. Let's go on the basic, the basic crappiest capitalist way. Happy talents make good content. Good content makes more members. More members and more super chats make you more money. You have unhappy talent. They're not going to put their all, even though she did. A lot of them may not. And then they'll leave. Once they left, we're, you know, that's it. That revenue stream, that's just talking about capitalism. I hate talking about it like this, but that revenue stream is gone. But worst of all, 
what hit, hurts me the most and what hits me the most, you hurt a human being. You made her feel like she wasn't deserving of that opportunity because she said, maybe I wasn't good enough. You know, you made her doubt herself, which is what you should never do as a company. I'm going to stop my rants because I'm, I can go on for hours about this whole thing. As a VTuber, this really annoys me about large companies that do this. It's not every company because I haven't heard of Cover do this, H Cover Hololive do this. But Niji Sanji seems to be taking so many L's so often that it's just they need to fix something in there if they want to continue being successful and being good to the fans who are their bread and butter. Thank you so much. This is the Mad Salvi doing my weird little rants as I always do. Take a look at my description down below, which has my socials. Of course, take a look at my Twitch if you so please. I do Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, usually 10 in the morning. And take a look at any videos that pop up on your screen, which is what YouTube recommends for you. I sure do hope that you enjoy watching those as well. I appreciate you so much. You have a wonderful day, evening, night, afternoon, whichever one it is for you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.